At the end of our last episode, we had just completed the three and a half day voyage from Bora Bora to Rarotonga. Rarotonga is our first island to visit in the Cook Islands group and is the starting point for leg four, which goes from Rarotonga to the northern island group of Tonga, Babau. Rarotonga is the most populous of the Cook Islands with a population of approximately 11,000. Although its residents have lived there since around 1000 AD, the first European discovery was made by Captain John Dibbs in 1823. Rarotonga is a fairly round island which has a circumference of about 32 kilometers. It does have a surrounding reef with a lagoon but is very close to the shore um, and op but often extends more than 100 meters to, uh, from the island to the reef. It was here that leg three crew dropped off and we're about to meet the crew of leg four. Here we are, first excursion with the new crew. Rarotonga, Rarotonga up to the needle. And it, Are you recording? Who do we have in the back here? Oh. Turn around, Greg, let's see you. There he is, <laughs> Greg Tasker. Adventure. Next behind, next is Juan. Hey. Let's see your face, Juan. Hello oh, again. Such a handsome guy, too. <laughs> He's missing you. <laughs> <laughs> and in front of Juan is Grant. Hey, guys. <laughs> Wait, well, I didn't get that grant. I was <laughs> concentrating. Try, try it again. Hey, <laughs> take two. Take two. <laughs> Come on, Brianna, turn around and say hello. Hello, world. <laughs> 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 The track started off with a slide uphill and then progressively got steeper and steeper until near the top we almost needed ropes for safety. It became very precarious and one slip someone would have got seriously hurt. Once we got to the top, we could rest, relax, and just enjoy the fantastic view. The next day, we hired a couple of scooters and set off to tour the island. on the beach and a snorkel in the lagoon. Then one of our favorite stops was Murray Lagoon. The next day, this usually empty parking lot filled with people come to greet relatives arriving from all the islands in the Cook Island. They were arriving for the Cook Island Eva, which was starting the following week. Drums are playing.
It was time to provision the boat and fill the tanks with water. It needed to last all the way to Tonga with a few stops on the way. This was not an easy task with the surge that was coming in through the harbor. Get it on the step. Yeah, usually I get it. Portable drinking water is not always available, and often we are in the situation where we were in, in Rarotonga, where we needed to take our 20 liter drums to a water filling location uh, in which the water was sufficiently filtered to make it drinkable. This was about a half a kilometer from the boat where we filled the drums and then drove them by scooters to the boat location to fill our tanks. That's 40 liters down. In this case, we only needed to fill half a tank, so only 460 liters to go. Another 12 trips. Sunrise on our overnight sail to Atateki. It's been quite a lovely sail. It's just a, uh, a day sail overnight, like I said. We did have some rough conditions at the beginning, about 20 knots, and, and uh, a bit it, uh, to windward for my liking, uh, about 45, 50 degrees. Um, but the wind abated overnight to uh, 10 to 15 knots, and uh, and early this morning came around a little bit to around uh, 60 degrees. So quite nice sailing right now. I thought I'd get a few comments from the crew last night. Uh, sorry. Um, hello, it's Juan in Walkabout. Uh, today is the 17th of July and uh, we are on our way to Aitutaki. Aitautaki? <laughs> it sounds like Japanese, eh? Aitutaki. <laughs> Aitutaki, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's 2.30, 2 uh, 8.30 and uh, we have been sailing for a few hours now we will arrive tomorrow morning it's pretty pleasant uh, although we are going a bit uh, windward and yeah it's very nice uh, no t-shirt warm weather uh, lovely sailing in the tropics hello this is Brienne <laughs> <laughs> on walkabout <laughs> it's July 17th at 8.30 and I'm finally not feeling like garbage after upchucking everything that I had in me a few times in the toilet and a few times over the port side without getting messy anywhere. Yay, me. You gotta do it. Winning. Managed to keep down some curry, drinking a ginger tea. Learning all about the sailing. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> I am? Okay. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm not one. It's the 17th of July and we are in the South Pacific. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
So yes, it's, good. it's a nice night, but not feeling the best. <laughs> However, things are improving. Uh, I haven't yet had the big royal chunder, and uh, the seeds are coming. So looking forward to a better, a better morning. But all's good with the world. Over and out. Over and out. Come over tonight Yeah, you Wanna make up and make it right When everybody's looking for something else they can do Down a reef of Venetuka Out of Tutaki Out of Tutaki We knew the entrance to Attitude Tacky was very shallow, so when we saw a scuba diving company boat on the outside of the reef, we asked if we could make it through. He assured us that at high tide we could, so we anchored off the entrance and waited for high tide. When we tried though, we made two attempts and went aground both times, and with that we turned around and with great disappointment headed off to Palmston Island. Okay, so here we have uh, the extenuous passage that we're having at the moment. Uh, after almost two months, uh, I can feel myself uh, sailing in the tropics. And this is how sailing in the tropics <laughs> look like. <laughs> just uh, very pleasant sailing downwind one yeah downwind everything okay here Greg no problem yes no problem. <laughs> all good we even have music tune on lunch being provided downstairs in what, the valley. what else can I ask for Brian is in the galley preparing some uh, lunch. Beers are cold in the fridge. Sun is shining. <laughs> Smiles upon the face. Everything is good in the world. Yes, and we are on the way to uh, Palmerston Island. And this is me.